I'm a PhD student from uh, Xi'an Jiao Tong University, and it's my pleasure to stand here to introduce my work of uh, zinc sulfide nanostructures for an, for an enzyme-based electrochemical and photoelectrochemical biosensors for uric acid. And uh, okay, uh, this is the outline can see. It. And first question is so why we why we need to detect uric acid in body. And, and what is uric acid? And uh, <clears throat> uric acid is a kind of uh, end product uh, by, uh, 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 by purine meta uh, metabolism in, in human body. And we can see in the, in the, in the picture that uh, about one, one third come from the food and, uh, about, uh, and the others are produced naturally by the body. And, and uh, they usually exist in blood, in body, and uh, and finally uh, filtered by kidney, and uh, uh, and get out of the body with the urine. And this is a this is a normal range uh, in 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 blood uh, of uric acid for men, and a little lower for women. Uh, if concentration is higher than this range, and it will cause some disease like Got and and other diseases associated with purine metal, met, met, uh, uh, with purine metabolism, and so so we need to uh, for clinical reason uh, detection of some disease, uh, and we need to detect uric acid in, in human body blood. So uh, the uh, uh, in in the re a lot of nanosensors for uric acid have been reported. Uh, like uh, zinc, salt, uh, zinc, oxide, zinc oxidation and uh, titanium uh, oxidation or, or, or uh, uh, gold nanoparticles with different morphologies and with uh, usually uh, in generally detection method with photoluminescence or electrochemical uh, method. Uh, but it, it, it rarely used uh, with this method, the photoelectrochemical method to detect uric acid in, 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 in uh, reported uh, papers. Uh, and also for the fabrication of the, of the, uh, of the electrode uh, sensors, there are also a lot of methods like here uh, to, to an immobilization of the, uh, of, of the um, nanomaterials with the electrode, like uh, uh, electroplating or physical absorption or electrostatic absorption or even by a uh, lot of by chemical bondings, but uh, too much of a chemical bondings will uh, uh, will affect the activity of the enzyme. And uh, so we, here we use a very simple uh, spin coated method uh, uh, and uh, uh, and the physical absorption to immobilization to of the enzyme to the electrode. So here here uh, I will introduce a synthesizer of uh, uh, nanostructures. You can see that uh, here uh, we synthesize the nano uh, zinc sulfide nanostructures with a simple uh, solar servo method in the in the autoclave uh, with a temperature of 180. And this is uh, all the chemicals we use. And uh, you can see that the result, the morphology of the nanostructures, uh, uh, we get different uh, results. Uh, of nanoparti uh, nanoparticles and also urchin-like uh, uh, structures and nanoflakes. Uh, uh, we control this by the ratio of the solution, the EN and, uh, and, and water, only by this way. And uh, so we can see the SAM result. This is a pure water solution and we get uh, actually some micro particles size about uh, four nano um, Four millimeters, and also this is the urchin-like uh, nano uh, nanostructures. Actually, it's uh, made of a uh, assemble uh, assemble of uh, a bunch of uh, nano wires. The nano wires uh, length of about uh, two to three dam dam uh, three millimeters. And uh, when the ratio turns to three to one, and the result turns to nano flakes. And this EDS also reflects the element the components. To of the nanostructures uh, is uh, 
uh, mostly in zinc and sulfur, which prove, also prove the purity of this, uh, of this nanostructures. And also other characterization of, of, of this uh, uh, three kinds of uh, uh, nanostructures. For, for, uh, for the nanoparticles, microparticles, it's most uh, of the zinc blend structures, uh, and also mixed with the trace of woodside structures. But for these two kinds of, 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 of result, it's, uh, the, the, the XRD result show that both of them are pure wood woodside structures. And, uh, and also, this is the uh, optical characterization of the nanostructures. And uh, you can see that the three, uh, three, three kind of uh, structure, nanostructures also they have a, a UV, a very high UV adoption, and also uh, the nanoparticles and the urchin-like nanostructures they show uh, a similar uh, illumination because actually they are they are kind of the same, just uh, uh, a particle and a particle assembled by very uh, by a lot of uh, a lot of uh, nano nano wires, and uh, uh, then we will, uh, I will introduce the fabrication of the working electrode. Uh, sorry, wait a second. Uh, th yeah, this is, uh, so we choose the uh, ITO glass as uh, conducting uh, conducting uh, substrate, uh, and uh, and then we mix with the, our 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 uh, nano nano powders with a kind of a solution named the terpereal and then spin coated on this ITO substrate and then uh, uh, annealing at uh, about 90 degrees to evaporate the terpereal so the nano materials were uh, uh, immobilized in the, in, in, uh, onto the ITO, ITO substrate and then we will add uh, uh, uricase is the it's a selective uh, 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 enzyme for for uricase, and and then we add nothing film. This is this film is uh, act as to uh, pre prevent the leakage of the enzyme, and then uh, this is a SEM result for the final final uh, result of this. Uh, uh, nothing and a uricase and a zinc sulfide ITO working electrode. This is SEM result, we can see that. And this is the electrochemical measurement uh, principle and uh, the three, three electrode uh, apparatus for detection of uricase uh, in, in water, in PBS solution. So uh, here we can see that uh, electron pr were produced by the, by the oxidization of a uricase uh, by uh, by the uh, and here uh, the uricase act as a act as a catalyst and uh, so so we can detect the uh, current produced by by the electro uh, chemical uh, system to measure the concentration of uricase in PBS solution and here uh, we first we characterization of the uh, of the fabricate uh, electrode. And this is without the uricase, and this is this is a result with uh, with the uricase, the electrode. We can see that uh, without the uricase, with adding of the ur without uricase, with adding of the uricase, uh, no current rise was was the with was shown. So and uh, uh, and with the uricase, uh, uh, when we when we add uh, the concentration of the uricase, the current arise appearly. Uh, here, so it can be proved that that uh, the current rising was caused by the uh, oxidization of the uricase uh, catalyst by uh, uricase, and also for this is this is the result of the of the electrode fabricated by uh, microparticles, and this is all this is the urchin-like nanostructures, and this is by uh, microplate with uh, three kinds of uh, nanostructures. All of them show the same result uh, to prove that a, uh, this 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 result is caused by the uricase, uh, not by other uh, other results. Uh, and uh, 
this is the uh, we measure the uh, your case of biosensors by the current rise. We when we're adding a, a concentration uh, from zero to zero point one, uh, uh, a very uh, a current rise here we can see uh, appears and. Uh, this here we can see a, a very sharp peaks here, and it returned to stable within about ten minutes uh, in in our result. And uh, this also can be uh, range from zero to one point two uh, micromolars of uric acid. Uh, this is for the uh, microparticles, and uh, this is the result for the urchin-like nanostructures. We are uh, we can see that this is a, a little better than that because it shows no uh, shock peaks uh, uh, when when uh, when adding the, the uric acid, and this is for the nanoflakes electrode. And uh, and uh, okay, we we summarize the result is that uh, uh, have a the the zinc sulfide zinc sulfide urchin like nanostructures have a have a best performance, including sensitivity and uh, limitation of uh, of detection, uh, and uh, a medium linear range to detect the to detect the uric acid. Uh, we assume this uh, by the reason of because the uric acid it, compared to the other nanostructures, they have a higher uh, surface to, to surface to volume ratio, so it can have a better. Uh, Result to 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 physical absorption, uh, physical absorption effect to the enzyme to the nanostructure. So it shows better, shows the best performance uh, to detection of uric acid. And then we we introduce another measurement uh, with uh, called photoelectrochemical measurement. And all these are are, are same, but but we introduce a. Uh, a radiation of a, of three of a UV uh, UV radiation of three hundred nanometers, an extra electron was produced. Uh, I, I, we know that zinc sulfide is a kind of a uh, photo uh, photo current uh, sensitive material. So extra extra electrons were produced by only by the uh, radiation of, of UV light. So. Uh, the current the current response we measured here uh, is the sum of the electro current and photo current. So we also characterize the the, the electrode uh, by uh, only by uh, by the UV light illumination. We can see that uh, with illumination of uh, UV light uh, arise uh, the photo current increase quickly and to about uh, to to four point three. Uh, uh, times compared to UV light off, and it is stable and repeatable. Uh, and for the UK detection with the uh, UV light irradiation, the, re the result show that uh, the sensitivity increased by five times uh, compared to to the urchin-like nanostructures, and we choose the better the best. Performance kind of material to do the to do the photoelectrochemical uh, sensing and the uh, limited limitation of detection also decreased. But the only uh, benefit uh, only uh, uh, is that the the linear range decreased compared to this and uh, uh, and the photoelectrochemical method of this uh, uh, of this electrode uh, it, we can see that. It, have a better performance than most of the reported method to detect the uric acid, uh, and this is a reference to the tablet list. And the selectivity, we also checked uh, the uh, biosensor selectivity towards uric acid compared with AA or glucose or u uh, urea in 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 the uh, in PBS solution and. Uh, it showed good uh, sensing selectivity uh, uh, by both uh, electrochemical and the photoelectrochemical sensing method. So, uh, so we make a summary, and we synthesize uh, and we synthesize this kind of zinc sulfide nanomaterials 
of different morphology uh, only by control the ratio of the solution. Uh, and uh, uh, we fabricate uh, electrochemical, uh, fabricate a uh, working electrode uh, in a simple method by spin coating method for electrochemical and the photoelectrochemical biosensing. And the uh, sensitivity, uh, it, uh, the, the high sensitivity uh, uh, of the three uh, structures is urchin like nanostructures. And with the irradiation of uh, 300 UV, the detection sensitivity increased four times, uh, but the linear range decreases a little. So that's a conclusion that I, I thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you.